as well as palm and sore. Sexually, syphilis is sexually transmitted disease caused by the bacteria Trypanosome pallidum. Primary syphilis is present at a small paleness, open sore, three to six, six weeks after exposure. So, three to six weeks after first sexual contact from an infected person, you will start develop this painless ulcer. Although it's less and heals within six to eight weeks, so uh, within few period, few days, uh, within a few weeks, it will get healed. The untreated organism will continue to multiply unchecked and causing many complications. So this you can see primary syphilis, there will be the sanker only. Then the secondary syphilis, you have rashes all over your body, mucosal passage, eruption, and palm and sole, and tertiary syphilis, you have damage of your central nervous system, aorta, and this hepatic as well. So secondary syphilis is systemic illness resulting from the hematogenous dissemination of the tapernomas. The symptoms of secondary syphilis usually appear four to ten weeks, initially three to six weeks, now four to ten weeks after the appearance of the primary sanker. The manifestation of the primary and secondary syphilis overlap in over 50% of the case. So we were on the secondary syphilis. In the primary syphilis, there was the ulcer only. In the secondary syphilis, we have rashes all over the body, including the palm and sole. The secondary syphilis, you can say rash involving palm and soles. There is oral lesion. There is a system, system, symptomatic early neurosyphilis can be also be seen. Ocular manifestation, including anterior and posterior uveitis. So you can see a lot, a lot of complication. So you can go after primary, you go to the secondary, and secondary then goes to the latent. Latent, there will be no symptom, but only there will be a serological positive. After that, you go into the tertiary syphilis. In tertiary syphilis, you have dorsal tibis dorsalis. There is loss of a dorsal column, including dors dorsal column gait impairment and dementia. Tibis dorsalis damage the dorsal column and sensory nerve root, causing syndrome of pain and sensory deficit, similar to those of the vitamin B deficiency. Vitamin B12 deficiency. Then there will be the gummas, and there will be the cauditis, like a cardiovascular effect. What are the gummas? Let me show you in tertiary care. Tertiary syphilis refers to the gumma, cardiovascular syphilis, psychiatric uh, manifestation, memory loss or personality change, or late neurosyphilis. So you can see the pathogenesis, incubation. These are the gummas actually. Uh, let me show you first over here. This is, you, you can see over here, there is a damage of the nails and nasal septum. These are the gummas, coronary inflammation. So gumma, you can see over here, there, Trypanosome pallidum, pathogens and infestation, bacteria infect, primary syphilis develop, then goes to the secondary syphilis, RAS, and in the latent syphilis, there is no symptom, but bacteria is there, serology is positive, and tertiary syphilis, you see the gumma of the skin, your heart damage, your neurological manifestation, and many more. So in a nutshell, the syphilis is a 